Rhode Island's latest American Idol hopeful advances to the final 13. Our first wild card pick, Erica Van Pelt. You saw the dramatic announcement live last night on our sister station, Fox Providence. Now, Erica Van Pelt, a wedding singer and mobile DJ from South Kingstown, will have another chance to sing her way to the American Idol title, and her hometown will be cheering her every step of the way. Iowa News reporter Susan Campbell joins us now live with local coverage. Mike, for Erica Van Pelt's Rhode Island fans, last night's show was a nail-biter. But you could tell the judges loved her performance, and so did the crowd at a local tavern where Van Pelt sometimes performs. Erica Van Pelt belts out tunes on live TV, but before she made it to the American Idol stage, she performed at Blackie's Bulldog Tavern in Smithfield with her dad. Her dad, Dirk Van Pelt, performs here every uh, three Thursdays out of the month, and a few times Erica has made a debut and graced us with her amazing voice. So on Thursday night, Van Pelt's fan base at Blackie's watched the live American Idol results show together. It was on the edge of your seat exciting. We had a great night. There were a lot of people, a lot of cheering going on. It was a lot of fun. But it wasn't all smiles. America didn't vote Erica into the top ten. We were so disappointed, but we had hopes. We had hopes. We saw J-Lo's face. We thought it was still going to happen. After performing a Lady Gaga hit, the judges saved Erica as one of three wild card contestants. Now fans at Blackie's Bulldog Tavern are hoping to create a big voting fan base for the 26-year-old singer from South Kingstown. Throughout the whole process, if she remains, which I'm sure she will, we will have continuous parties and drink specials in her honor. Having somebody from Rhode Island here and have a connection to her makes it really amazing to sit back and watch her perform. Last night, Van Pelt's dad was in the live audience cheering for his daughter, but we're told next week he'll be watching her on TV with the crowd at Blackie's Bulldog Tavern. Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.